Hey, Lita and Krisha, thanks for having us today. Well, thank you, thank you. So we're at Bonifacio right now, a Filipino restaurant, and you guys are a mom and daughter, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Awesome, so can you tell us what we're making today? What we're doing here is uh, the uh, traditional pancit, which is like the, uh, the Philippine noodles, and this is like our comfort food. And we make this like all year round, you know, at every occasion. So if you have a birthday, we'll cook one seat for you because it means that you're gonna have a long life. So does it like bring luck of any sort or just it means it'll give you prosperity or longevity? Um, part of the Filipino culture is that it's a mix of a lot of different cultures. So. Um, there are influences uh, of pancit from the Chinese, and, and that's kind of where it comes, long noodles, long life type thing. All right, so what are the ingredients? Okay, so um, what we have right here is, uh, you know, the noodles, and we have the cabbage, celery, carrots, and then we saute it in uh, onions and garlics. And um, you can add, you know, different kinds of vegetable, you know, if you, whatever you want to. All right, I guess let's get started and sure, show us yeah. what you got. So it's a mix of different vegetables and it sounds like you can put in different ones according to your tastes. Yeah, because the way that the Philippines is essentially a bunch of different uh, islands, everyone kind of has uh, a lot of regionality in terms of ingredients, in terms of what's available to them. Uh, in their backyards and we kind of think of Filipino food as very much farm to table because it is about what's already available there for you. So this is kind of the style that's most well known and these standard ingredients with chicken and uh, sausage. Mm -hmm. So is this dish also used for like big holidays? I know it's all used for birthdays you said. Yeah it's pretty much every major holiday, every major gathering. I think um, for Filipino culture, food is always at the centerpiece of any celebration. And this is actually my mom's favorite thing to cook. Okay. Um, and everyone uh, loves this fun sit. <laughs> People uh, definitely come and um, you know, ask for my mom's sponsor for their own birthday. Okay. <laughs> Yours is the most popular. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I think that should be good. Okay. I want to see what's going on on the stove. So. Yeah, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Hey, Lita, how's it going over here? I'm good. Yeah. I'm almost done with the noodles. So now I'm doing the veggies. So then we have the cabbage and some celery. And then we got salt and pepper here. So can you tell me a bit about how you started cooking? Like when did you first learn how to make pancit? Um, when I was little, I just like kind of watched my mom cook it. And since it's my favorite, I really wanted to learn how to do it to cook it. That's awesome. Um, yeah. So your mom taught you, then you taught her. Yeah. She's going to be passed down, passed down. Yeah. So I'm going to um, plate this, OK? Is there a particular presentation? Yes. Yeah, because um, traditionally, when you're preparing this at home for a friend, you just mix them all together. But it's different when you do it in a restaurant setting. So you need to make it you know, look prettier, okay? I think Filipino food is such a new thing here in Columbus and we really want to focus on, you know, presentation and showing off the different ingredients and, um, you know, we like to put all the veggies at the top so you can get that, like, crisp um, texture right at your first bite. All right, now it's done. This is the uh, traditional Filipino pancit. So uh, you need to give it a shot, okay. I want to, let's go. All right, let's go, try it. Okay, be honest, okay? <laughs> you tell me the truth. I will give you my real review. All right, this looks great. Oh, thank you. Okay, I'm about ready to serve the uh, pancit for you guys, okay? Thank you. So first off, we're going to uh, squeeze the uh, limes. So it got these uh, kind of soury, you know, um, flavor to the pancit. 
and I'll mix it up a little bit. Okay. So can you guys tell me more about the business? When did you open? So we actually started out, we had a cafe downtown and we Google. decided to start uh, doing Filipino food and, um, you know, in small ways, like within sandwiches and, and just showing off a little bit of Filipino influence. Um, and my mom was very adamant that if we started doing a Filipino brunch, people would come. And I grew up here in Columbus and have never seen Filipino food be represented in, in any sort of way in the mainstream. And I was like, uh, are you sure? She was like, no, we're doing it. And I was like, all right. Um, and she was right. Uh, so we would always have like really long lines and, and people really came from all over to, to try Filipino food. And that's kind of where we got the idea of like, yeah, maybe Columbus is ready for this. Okay. Yeah. So you got a customer base kind of right away? Uh, yeah, it was uh, because we had been, um, I guess, the first full-service Filipino restaurant and bar in Columbus. It was kind of a um, something that people were really excited about. People were excited to try, and just nationwide Filipino food had been kind of picking up in popularity and uh, being recognized by, you know, chefs like um, Anthony Bourdain and. and um, all different sorts of folks, so it was starting to become part of that mainstream fabric of the American uh, culinary palette. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. You, go. you gotta tell me the truth, okay? I will tell you the truth. <laughs> Nothing but the truth. I love it. It's like it's savory, but I don't even know how to describe it. Mm -hmm. But I like it. Good. That's all that matters. They like the it. The texture is good. Yeah. I know I'm getting my vegetables. <laughs> so what's it like running a business together, mother and daughter? Um, yeah, we fight a lot. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, I mean, it's interesting. Um, the nice thing is we have pretty different roles, and my mom makes sure that everything in the kitchen is running, and I kind of handle mm -hmm. the back end and the service. and. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's a modern Filipino restaurant in that we have these very traditional um, dishes. It's still the same flavors, it's still the same recipes, but um, we modernize it in terms of how we present it to our guests and how we educate and explain. And in that way, we're kind of mixing our two um, perspectives of Filipino food and, and our experience here as, as Filipino Americans. Okay, so getting back to the dish, pansi. Um, so we eat it for celebrations, right? Birthdays, any major holidays in the Filipino community that people would eat this at? So the Philippines is predominantly Roman Catholic, so a lot of our holidays kind of revolve around the church. So Christmas, Easter, um, things like that, and those are, are really big holidays, and, and those are the ones that, you know, bring all of our family around and, and bring the community around. And can you just talk about the importance of having this restaurant in America, in Columbus? For me as a Filipino American, I grew up not really seeing myself represented in a lot of uh, the mainstream. I grew up in a city where people didn't really look like me. And, you know, folks come here and say like, I'm so proud of this place because uh, people from all over different backgrounds um, come in and, and try Filipino food and love it and become fans of it and I never thought I would see that um, and so um, on one end it's a place for the community to gather and on the other hand um, it's a place that is representing folks that maybe have not ever seen themselves uh, represented before in, in, in the mainstream. Thanks so much for having me at the restaurant and sharing about food that's so important to your culture. Oh, it's a pleasure having you here. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. All right, let's keep meeting.